300 prospect quarterback just won the Jerry Rice Award for top pro top freshman, uh, top FCS freshman, and he's the first HBCU player to do that. So you do have to give Dion some credit. He, he's doing a lot of good things. He's doing a lot of unprecedented things at Jackson State, and I think probably eventually uh, that could lead to maybe a bigger job for him. Well, so that's my follow-up question. One, two, is, is this a one-off um, in this happening regarding a player of this caliber, but also what happens if in two years Dion decides, you know what, I'm going to go be the next coach of, of Florida State? Yeah, I, I, the way I've been putting this is I, I don't think it's necessarily going to be a trend. I, I don't think we're going to see a lot of five-stars go, uh, a lot of ESPN 300 kids go to, to FCS schools. I, I think Jackson State has the perfect storm where, where you have a Dion Sanders there, where he, he, he's essentially a celebrity. And, and he, he's got a lot of pull. He's got a lot of notoriety. And so um, their situation is a little bit different than most FCS schools. But Travis Hunter, to me, a lot of this that, that factors in is, is name image likeness, and, and there's there's different opportunities now for for players to go anywhere and, and have success and go anywhere and make money. And now he's he's a, a big fish in a really really small pond. And so the way that I've been putting it is Travis Hunter bet on himself that a lot of the other five star prospects they go to bigger power five programs like Alabama, Ohio State, Michigan, Michigan State, wherever. Because there are bigger opportunities, better opportunities in general there to reach your goals, winning a championship and making it to the NFL. The Travis Hunter setting on himself to be one of the smaller players. He can still get himself there. He's the on standard. He can still get him there. So you know, I don't I don't know what will happen in the future. If the, uh, the Travis certainly will have the opportunity to transfer and play the buddy of program to take him. So he's in a unique situation that he can bet on himself. He can take a shot.
So I think it's different than the mentality in the past, even even really going five years back, um, where it, it it's more acceptable to transfer than it was before. Where you're you're almost you know I, I hate to say this and be skeptical about this recruiting class, but you're you're almost looking at this recruiting class as this is their first recruitment because a lot of these kids are going to have second recruitment, and, and it's it's now more important than ever for for college programs to finish second. Than it, than it ever has been because if, if you finish second in this signing period, uh, there's a chance that that kid transfers, that you built a good relationship with him, that you might be able to get him when he transfers. So uh, I think these kids know that. And I also think that, that that's part of a, building a, a, a successful program is building competition at the position. And if you have that type of competition, uh, I, th- I think in today's college football landscape, you're doing something right. Uh, let's look at Michigan. You have them ranked eighth. Obviously, they flipped a few guys. They lost a few on flips, but uh, William Johnson from uh, Bruce Point South is uh, the head of the class, the, the five-star. You, you like their class, and the question I have about them is still, I think Johnson's the only one right now from the state of Michigan, if I'm not mistaken. And they don't, I don't think they have anybody from Ohio either. Yeah, yeah, that's been, that's been a question for a lot of people. Is recruiting Ohio is Prospects. They did move Alex in during the flip to Michigan State earlier in the year. Because his, bro- his brother, because his brother was his brother transferred. Transferred. Yeah. Right. Yep. His brother transferred to Michigan State, so they did lose that idea. You know, I, I, I think had they not finished strong and they not gotten some of the prospects that they wanted nationally, I think it, it would be a concern. But I, I look at who they were able to get. You know, I think one of my biggest questions is how do you replace Dave Hutchinson? How do you replace it? David Ojabo? I need to replace them. And they were able to get Derek Moore, uh, a defensive end. We had a ranked 23 overall uh, out of out of St. Francis Academy. So I, I think he'll be able to help there. Uh, I, my question was, how do you, you know, how do you replace some of the veterans that are eventually going to leave in the secondary? You mentioned Will Johnson. He on staff and just committed to the plus. Uh, so I, I think it's okay given the, the prospects that they were able to land nationally that they're going to fill a lot of holes. And they're doing it with some elite level prospects that a lot of top programs were at. And for each program, Michigan State and Michigan, um, is there a guy that is, you know, maybe not a five star guy, but, you know, somebody in both classes that you're looking at going, I'm really interested to see, excited to see what this young man's going to do? Yeah, I mean, I, I think there's, there's a couple in, in each class. Um, you know, Michigan's had success with with tight ends, and they've had success with uh, recruiting some some. Uh, I, I guess I don't want to say unorthodox states, but states that typically don't produce a lot of big name players. And uh, Colston Loveland is a tight end out of Idaho, and, and I, I think normally you're probably not thinking of Idaho as a, as a recruiting hotbed. But um, I, you know, I'm interested to see what he does. Eric All was was a, a big surprise for me this year. I, I thought Eric All did not have a great season last year and, and, and this year, especially in the second half, he developed really well and turned things around and so I, I'm interested to see if Colson Loveland follows in, in that mold uh, for Michigan at least. And, and there's a couple other kids, Geek Berry, a safety out of out of California. Um, he's an ESPN three hundred kid but he's not getting a really a, a lot of a lot of conversation around him and, and I'm interested to see what he does. And then for Michigan State, I think for me, it, it's, it's some of the guys in the secondary that they have, because obviously the secondary was the problem for, for Michigan State this season. So they've got a couple of three stars, uh, Quavion Carter, Malik Spencer, and Willie, um, and, and, and Willie's out of IMC Academy. Those are three star guys in the secondary, but I, I think given the development that Michigan State has had, uh, given Mel Tucker's resume, I'm, I'm interested to see how those guys develop and if they can make an impact early on for, for Michigan State, especially on the defense. All right. Tom, we appreciate it as always. Get some sleep. I know it's been uh, your Super Bowl. Yeah, I'm tired, that's for sure. I don't know how you guys do this every morning. It's awful. <laughs> it's called napping at noon. <laughs> well, thanks, Tom. Uh, we'll, we'll talk to you later. Tom Van Aaron, ESPN, uh, recruiting guru here on the Stoney Jansen program. 97 one. 97 one. Uh, tickets. <coughs> 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 Still looking at a quiet drive along all area freeways. Things look 
pretty good out on I-96 near No Bike Road. Also, no issues on 696 between Orchard Lake Road all the way out to I-75. No problems getting in or out of downtown. Keep in mind, though, this weekend, I-94 eastbound is scheduled to close between 75 and Gratiot Avenue in Detroit as part of weekend construction. That'll begin 9 tonight until Monday morning. I'm Michelle Pine with traffic. As you know, the Jacksonville Jaguars fired Urban Meyer. Jacksonville's first phone call to replace Urban should be to former Philadelphia Eagles coach Doug Peterson. Doug is a Super Bowl championship head coach, a leader of men, and can overcome adversity. Doug's a complete antithesis of Urban and would be the ideal choice to take over Trevor Lawrence's squad. Sean Khan, get it right this time and hire Doug Peterson. I'm Zach Gill. We all know the soothing scent of Vicks Vapo Rub, the comforting scent families everywhere have come to trust. Whether you had a pesky cold and couldn't go to sleep, or you just needed a loving touch of care to help you feel better, Vicks Vapo Rub has always been there. It always made you feel better, and today, it still does. Reach for Vicks Vapo Rub and wrap yourself with the calm and soothing relief only Vicks Vapo Rub can bring. Vicks Vapo Rub, trusted soothing vapors, always there for you. At Lowe's Winterfest, finding the right gift can feel full-on festive. Like saving $40 on a Cobalt 24-volt max brushless drill kit was $139, now $99. Or save $30 on a Craftsman 6-gallon air compressor was $129, now $99. Find the perfect gift at the perfect price at Lowe's. Home to any budget, home to any possibility. While supplies last, out through 1222, U.S. only. What do you call a group of friends who wear the same jersey for good luck, no matter how old it is, and who support their team through thick and thin, week after week, as if the very season depended on it, all while tossing the pigskin and drinking Miller Lite? You call it Miller Time in Detroit. Here's to the original light beer. It's Miller Time. Celebrate responsibly. 2021 Miller Brewing Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The holidays are here, and at Lover's Lane, finding a gift for the one you love has never been more fun. Sexy and provocative lingerie, petite to full sizes, exciting games for couples, massage oils, and intimate bedroom essentials. Sure, Lover's Lane has gifts for the naughty, but we also have the nicest and coolest gifts too. Who needs mistletoe anyway when you've got Lover's Lane, the gift and toy store for grown-ups. Want a gift that's sure to please? Give a Lover's Lane gift card. It's the holiday season, folks, and with actual places to go and people to see this year, you need a connection that'll keep you covered at home and on the go. Luckily, Xfinity Internet delivers reliable coverage at home. And Xfinity Mobile, with nationwide 5G included, covers you everywhere else. Plus, you can save up to $400 a year on your wireless bill. So the only thing you'll need to worry about... Long time no see! ...is remembering what your friends look like. It's me! Right. How's that hobby and or job you have? Get started with Xfinity Internet for $20 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. Add Xfinity Mobile and you can save up to $400 a year on wireless over AT&T. Plus, ask how to get a 5G phone on us. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless billing and auto pay with stored bank account. It's 12 21, 21 Restrictions apply. New Connect Internet customers only. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra and subject to change. After turn, regular rates apply. Compares pricing of top carriers. Xfinity Internet required. agent or have you ever thought about becoming a realtor hi it's mark z with exp we are now hiring most realtors struggle because they don't have enough leads or they work day and night with no retirement plan i have a solution that includes company stock residual income and a great compensation plan come learn from the best me mark z at joinmarkz.com car online couldn't be easier when you shop the express store from moran chevrolet the express store lets you search inventory or configure your dream car like the all-new equinox with advanced safety technologies the sleek and sporty blazer that seats up to five need more cargo or hauling try the silverado crew cab moranexpress.com from moran chevrolet where you always get the best price period on grass at north of 15 mile in Clinton township Chevrolet, buy new roads. You may be into punk rock, soft rock, or classic. 
classic rock, R&B, hip hop, or house, country, techno, or techno country. But no matter what kind of music you listen to, here's something else you should hear. Please consider getting vaccinated. Talk to your pharmacist today about community COVID-19 vaccine mRNA. This message brought to you by BioNTech and Pfizer. Confession, I just started my holiday shopping. Luckily, Kohl's was here to help save the day. I got 50% off toys for my kids, 30% off the Ninja Air Fryer for my sister, and 40% off jammies for your families for my family. You can even get 50% off for 15 20 or 30% off with a Kohl's card and earn Kohl's cash. So I guess you could say my holiday procrastination paid off. Select styles ends December 19th. Toys, coupons do not apply. Some extensions apply. See historicals or company details. The next time you're in Vegas, head to the D Las Vegas. It's not on the strip, it's in downtown Vegas. The odds are better, the party's bigger, and you'll feel right at home. Book your stay today at the D.com. The D Las Vegas, your home for Detroit sports in Vegas. 97 won the ticket and the Bet 1270. Your homes for the NFL on Westwood One. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers host the New Orleans Saints. Sunday night football. Pre game at 730 on the Bet 1270. Detroit. to the best of Stoney and Jansen with Heather on 97.1 The Ticket. Uh, Jacina Anderson, who used to work for ESPN, she has her own podcast and Zoomcast uh, NFL stuff. She's pretty connected. Uh, I know she's gotten a lot of interviews and, and broke us some news from different players over the years and agents and things like that. So yesterday, she tweets out, now this is a relationship probably to Todd McShay's mock draft, which had Hutchinson going number one and Thibodeau going number two. She goes, oh, and I forgot to tweet this yesterday. If the Lions have the number one overall pick in the 2002, uh, 2022 NFL draft, I'm told the current mindset is to select Oregon defensive end Kayvon Thibodeau, her league sources, no mock needed. And then she said, you can listen to hear how well-rounded Thibodeau is in this one-on-one below. Oh, so she was looking for some clicks, and hey, yeah. if you want to hear more, please come to yes. my audio. 